What's up guys, it's X here, and we are about to dive into another one of these reaction videos. This one is going to be entirely different, alright? There's a channel that I've been wanting to get some kind of footage and content off of called Darman Studios, alright? Darman is a person who paints these real life scenarios and I think an amazing way, alright? Sometimes I think they're very exaggerated and that's to be expected, especially when you're doing videos like this. But the exaggeration part, it could be debated because like I'm like, yo. The exaggeration part is like something that could really happen. But like it's usually the less or most least option to be able to happen, right? So, anyways, we're going to dive into what's called, let me see, real quick, y'all. Fortune teller scams girls, girl for money. What happens next is shocking. So, we're going to dive into this. Appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you uh, um, look in the description for the link down below for the original video. Okay? And also, make sure y'all like and subscribe to your boy's channel, alright? With that being said, let's go ahead and uh, hit the shit. Let's hit it. Let's fucking hit it. You're dumping me? We talked about this. Huh? I, I asked you to try harder, but you can't even get dressed for my birthday dinner. It's your birthday? Oh my god. Damn. She didn't even know it was his birthday? Oh. Damn. You used to be so fun. You plan dates, getaways, you, your work, you were so passionate. I'm doing my part. It's not easy at my job either, but I do it. You, all you do is <laughs> complain that nothing's going your way. Mm. But it's true. No one at my job even paid attention to anything I did. And all the hard work I put in, things always take a turn for the worse, no matter what. <laughs> Please don't do this. Oh my god, we're getting deep already, y'all. Damn, son. Damn. This woman has probably been trying to, like, keep up with whatever this man has been doing for her. And, um, unfortunately, she met some kind of demise with her job. And they are, uh, like, calling it quits for her in some kind of way, so. She's kind of like being on the back end right now she's she knows she has a man that could probably help support her and now he's bringing it to her attention like baby times is hard right now all right so like the lifestyle we're trying to build like if you're not doing your part i don't know if we could maintain this so like man kind of hard start life's what you make it jenny I'm sorry if I haven't been the best girlfriend, but I'll, I'll try harder. I promise. Oh, that's not cool, man. You tell the woman that I'm she sorry. doesn't. You don't. No, 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 no. You don't tell the woman that. You don't tell the woman. That. I'm sorry. Like, damn, bro. If it was that bad, like, I would never date date a woman for financial needs at all. No, like, I'm dating you because I like you. I love you. You probably want to see a future with you. Whatever, um, like, as far as like maintaining the life that I'm living already, even before I met you or after I met you, whatever the case, whatever happens to you in your job situation should not affect what I feel for you. You know what I'm saying? So, this is a little bit weird already, but let's carry on. This is 2024, y'all. Let's see what we're dealing with. God damn. Would that be bro. honest? Right in front of her face. Cake. Yeah. Get the, get the get the goddamn cake. Get her get her cake. whole fucking cake. Goddamn. Get her a whole goddamn cake. Please. Yeah, that's it. She needs Let's a goddamn see. cake, man, because like yo. Yo. In this next scene right here, changing lives. Look at this skinny ass woman right here. Wearing that green top. And look at this dude over here. Like, what the fuck is he doing? He's pointing to the changing lives sign or what? Like, bro, 
damn, this woman just went through some shit. And y'all do not know. Listen, y'all. Y'all probably do not know. Y'all probably are not going to know. I just went through a whole fucking hour and um, probably 10 minute video before I realized that it wasn't recording my voice. Alright, so I was literally expecting everything to be peachy and creamy. Alright, and by the time I was, it was time to edit the video, I was like, where the fuck is the sound? Alright, so we're making sure this doesn't happen on this one, but I, I'm going to treat this video that we're doing here like the last one. Alright, I'm going to stop it on every single time I feel like I need to say something. Because, like, what the fuck is this dude doing? Changing lives. Fitness. And bitch, no. You're changing their lifestyle, alright? It doesn't mean lives. You're changing their lifestyle and how they live to be able to support themselves physically, okay? It's not that serious, man. Do it again from the top! Five, six, seven, eight! Uh. It's one of those steps, too. And we're gonna turn now. Burn! Get low. Get low. There you go. That's where it is. Up high. Up. There you go. Left. Let me tapping out already. Hi, Mom. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, uh, the cat got out again? Oh, he always does that when I'm in class. Oh, oh gosh. What? Wait, you gotta leave because the cat got... What? The fuck? Jenny, you can't keep bailing on class, okay? I know your mom's cat died weeks ago. What? Look, the doctor said you need exercise. I know what the doctor said, but this is torture, Savannah. Hi, dear. Are you worried about your health? I can see the future, and I can tell you anything you need to know. That's interesting, but no thanks. With the way things are going, the last thing I need is to know what's coming next. Yeah, we're not interested. Oh, Thank you. Man. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Could I say that? I myself? can not only see the future, I have the power to change it from bad to good. Really? I mean, if you know like what the issue is, then of course you know what you can do to fix it if you're like somewhat smart, you know? You don't have to be somewhat smart, you can just be logical and just be have an average sense of common sense, you know? Like, <laughs> this woman's really fault. Are you really? You can do that? Let's see what the hell this woman got to say. Hey, you can do that? Yes. Here, take my card. For Hold on. Let's go back a little bit and read that card. To change it from bad to good. Really? You can do that? Yes. Here. Take my card. Madam Esmeralda. I definitely heard that before. Psychic reader and tarot reader. Honey Lane, Los Angeles, California. 00012. Is that really three zeros and one two? Damn, that's an interesting zip code. Alright. Uh -huh. Hey, where the hell You are not doing that. Her? It is a total scam. But what if it's real? The universe has been against me. Yo, 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 yo. This is, this is hard. This is hard. I just got done trying to do an, an hour and a, some change video. And it fucking failed because I wasn't recording myself. We're recording myself now. But if y'all do not know about these scams, especially on TikTok, because there'll be some like people that come out to you and be like, hey, I think you need to read them. I'm like, no, I don't. Like, I couldn't read my own charts and realize what the hell I need to do if I wanted to. But I choose to go about life freely without looking and deciphering them. With, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, y'all do what the hell y'all want to do. If y'all want to go ahead and understand and expect everything to happen in a certain way and know it ahead of time, so be it. Me? Leave me the fuck alone. I don't care nothing about that. I, I choose and I love to live my life expecting, not expecting anything, but whatever happens, happens. And maybe this is what I need to catch a break. Oh, wow. 
Can you take me to my place? I need to get changed. Whoa. What does she say whoa well for? I did not catch that. I didn't I didn't catch that. Don't give me that look, Sack. I'm so mad at you. Okay, I could have changed my whole life around with that lady's help, but you ruined my chances, so you know what? I'm gonna eat as much as I want. After all I do for you, you're gonna tell me I'm the reason you can't get your life in order. If her powers could have saved me from whatever disaster's coming next, then yes, you did ruin my life. Or at least my chances of having a good one. I feel like my destiny is doomed. Why? I've what the hell did I miss? I've times, Jenny. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. Mm. Your life isn't just going to change on its own. No. You have to work hard for change. I have no, I don't, I wouldn't say it. you have to work hard You've for it. You've seen me work at it. Nothing changed. Because you haven't worked consistently. You barely come to the gym leave early when you do and even after the doctor told you that you have to exercise more or you could become diet but if i can't learn the steps what's the point that is the why can't you learn the points that's the question that she should have asked right there why can't you learn the points like i'm pretty sure whatever the dietitian the exercise person is trying to tell you the personal fitness person is trying to tell you like stop eating as much all right stop eating as much and maybe exercise a little bit just a little bit you don't have to go out your way and fucking do like 10 sets or a uh, hundred sets every fucking time you go out you know like chill out man it ain't that serious it ain't that serious your body the cells in your body wants to know that you're putting in some kind of like motivation into what you're trying to do your cells will act accordingly to that okay if y'all don't know that by now, get with it, alright? Because I know that for a fact now, alright? So, let's continue. ...point to learn, but it's never gonna happen if you keep ditching. Your health is suffering because you can't stay committed. Look, if this class doesn't work for you, fine. Let's try something else. But you can't just give up entirely because something's too hard. Nothing is going to change unless you do, Jen. Are you going to finish that? <laughs> I'm so sorry. This card has been declined. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, just put the whole thing on mine. Oh, Thank you. God. What's going on? Are they not giving you enough hours at work? I had to quit that place. What? Why? I told you when I started that I'd give them a few months to promote me. They didn't, so I had to quit. Oh, Did you even no. ask for a promotion? I shouldn't have to. It's a nah, 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 nah. This is going into a certain kind of direction that I didn't think it was going to go. This woman seems to be, like, fooling herself. Like, bro, you can't expect certain kind of things to happen if you're not putting in the effort for it for one for two like you shouldn't have your all your hopes you shouldn't have all your eggs in one basket you know what i'm saying like if shit does not work out they might give whatever position or whatever you're trying to achieve for to somebody else which will stall your time and indefinitely we don't know what time or how long it's going to take i mean that person has might have to quit that person might get moved up again, or that person might stay in the position, and you could be bump up to that position too. But again, it's just all about like I don't know, man. Like, shit, this is this is a weird one. Let's go ahead and continue. Savannah, three months is plenty of time for them to see how much work I did. Okay, I have been busting my butt at my job for a year, and I'm still an assistant. That's my point, Savannah. Yeah. You're always talking about working so hard, and you still haven't even been promoted, okay? You put in all this effort, and no one even notices. Why work so much if nothing's gonna change? Again, it takes time, commitment, dedication and a lot of hard work to make things happen which is what you need to do 
But if I'm cursed with bad luck, then it doesn't really matter what I do, does it? I wonder Fortune which cookies. one is meant for you and which one is meant for me. I really don't think it matters. This one feels right. That's what I'm saying right there. Like, yo. Like, when you get a fortune cookie, you gonna go ahead and say that? It doesn't matter which one gets which. It's just a reading or a saying. Like, nah, man. I approach fortune cookies like a saying for me. And that's how I think you should approach... Like, if it was to open the Bible to some kind of saying, like, let's say that like, God, I need your guidance. And you're one of those people who are still, like, somewhat Christian-based. You know, open that damn Bible, and whatever page that it lands on, that might be what your message for you itself, right? We're all familiar with that kind of scenario. But when it comes to fortune cookies, if somebody's already, like, denying the fact that whatever the fuck these fortune cookies are saying, like, it's all bullshit anyway, so. I feel a little bit weird about that. It's a sign. Maybe my fate can change. Your luck is about this is to exactly change. This exactly what I needed to hear. Okay. I hope so. I am right here telling you your fate can change, but you have to make it happen. Belief without action is pointless. I didn't believe it before, but now I have proof. Left my doubts at home tonight. Me confidence can't come and take a bite. My skin, my hair, they shine so bright. Tonight's the night, it feels so right. Careless, fearless, standing tall. Limitless and powerful. Stronger than I've been before. I'm here to hit the dance floor. Baby, don't know where to sometimes. For me to be right. Damn, this dude's just on the phone doing an interview. What the hell? I got my satin dress on. You know it. No one's gonna stop my dancing feet. I'm on it, iconic. Got my body moving to the beat. My dress on, you know it. No one's gonna stop my dancing feet. I'm on it, iconic. All I know is I just wanna dance, dance, dance. Fully charged with energy. Feel the blood rush into me. It's my calling, can't you see? Like Paul once said, just let it be. And when those doubts come back my way There's a game I like to play Say words won't bring me down today Lord, don't let that fade away Baby, don't know where to For me to be right For me to be right I got my satin dress on You know it no one's gonna stop my dancing feet. I'm on it, iconic. Got my body moving to the beat. My dress up, you know it. No one's gonna stop my dancing feet. I'm on it, iconic. All I know is I just wanna dance. I got my dress on, you know it. No one's gonna stop my dancing feet. I'm on it, iconic. Got my body oh, moving to no. the beat. My dress up, you know it. Damn. No one's gonna stop my dancing feet. I'm on it. Oh my god, bro. Holy freaking crap. The dude just shot it down like that. Like, it's like I already got a fucking female in here. Like, no, I don't want those flowers. Damn, son. If I would ever was to be in a situation like that, I would not close the damn door on a woman's face like that. No, I wouldn't. I would let her know, obviously, of course. I have a woman. And she's in here right now. But, like, how he looked and just closing the door and how she's looking right now, damn. She just came all out. <sighs> Man, people's priorities need to be, um, they need to be, like, manipulated in some kind of way. Because, like, holy crap, bro, why, why would you subject yourself to that? But let's, let me stop y'all. I don't get it. It just doesn't make sense. I did everything he wanted. I'm so sorry he didn't take you back. Maybe this is the one time you're right. It wasn't meant to be. But I put in the effort. Nothing changed after all the work. It can't just be me. What's 
wrong? Is it the doctor? No. You know, the job that rejected me, they're now offering me a position. Hey, that's great. Why are you so down, then? It's an entry-level position. I'm not going to be a receptionist again. Jen, are you serious? You can start from the bottom and work your way up. Mm -hmm. That is how it's done. No, I'm supposed to be done starting from the bottom by now. I'm telling you, Jen, commitment works. I didn't want to say anything because you're going through a hard time. I know. But you remember that manager position that I have been working and waiting so patiently for? I just got it yesterday. Well, congrats. I'm not surprised. Well, what about the same for yourself? Like, you don't think you can hold it out and do what you're supposed to do? Like, again, we're slaving for these com companies that other people own. Of course, the idea is supposed to be temporarily, right? Like, you don't want to work for this person the rest of your life, do you? Like, if that's the case, then, I mean, more props to you, I guess, if that's what you want. But for the majority of people, I would think that you want to work for somebody for a temporarily service. So I understand where this woman's coming from. I'm not, I'm not going to be starting. I'm going to be starting at an entry level position again. I don't really want that. And I can understand that. Like, for me, like, if I was... A, I'm a truck driver, if y'all don't know by now. But for me to, like, start entry level, like, with other people who probably don't even have, like, a manual driving experience when it comes to trucks. Because that's all I drive. I drive manual trucks. I don't drive no automatic bullshit. All right? I have drove automatic bullshit before. That's not where it's at. All right, that's actually a little bit dangerous if you ask me, but I think consistency and um, just listen, get yourself a new job, put in the time that you might need to, don't expect things to happen overnight, and then you might be able to grow and get somewhere. But if you don't have that mentality to be somewhat patient and you expecting everything to be the way that you expect it to be. You're not going to get anywhere in this world. I'm going to leave it at that. Huh. I know why you got the promotion. It's because I must have taken your fortune cookie. I'm telling you, it is just my luck. There's some dark cloud hanging over me. No matter how hard I work, things don't turn out in my favor. Nothing well, if you're saying that, falls into your lap. I think you it's have to happen. keep going. Every time something goes wrong, you try to learn from it or use it as motivation. It's like the dance class, right? It's hard for a while, but then you figure it out. You learn the steps. Okay, but I've tried and tried again. Nothing changes it. Well, how long have you been waiting for? Oh, again? Already? Well, I can get it to... What now? My landlord. My rent is late again. He said I'll be evicted if I don't pay by the end of the month. I've been trying to save, but things just keep getting worse. I'm telling you, if the universe is against me, there's nothing that can change it. Jen, you decided to quit your job. Mm. It's not the universe or fate. It's your actions. It's math. Your Don't actions. you see how this all goes back to you? You got a better way of saying it's it. It's but... just the cards I've been dealt. Speaking of which, do you still have that card? You know, the, the fortune teller gave you? Remember the one we saw her and she disappeared for a while? What the hell is that? I'm going to reach out to her. Actually, I think I do. Okay, awesome. Maybe that could help. Oh, shit. Who the hell is... Sarah! What? Are you sure this is the right place? Yeah, this is it. Why are you surprised? <laughs> that Don't that you dude. sketch? <laughs> Alright, let's, let's focus. Let's <gasps> focus. <laughs> there it is. 
Thank you so much for coming with me. I know this isn't really your cup of tea. Hey, if a friend can't come with you to a grimy alley to see a mysterious psychic, are they even a real friend? Hmm. That's a good question. Huh. Looks like I can't bring you with me. No worries. I'll just wait out here. Scream if you need me to call the police. <laughs> That's a good friend she got right there. Wow, that was a maze. Damn, you had to go through a maze to get there? What the hell? Oh, hello? Oh, no. That's Is anyone a, here? That's not a good sign at all. Yeah, get you the hell up out of there. Where are you? Oh, no. No, no, no. I I was just checking out the door. Yeah, that's solid American wood right there. Care to join me? <laughs> yeah, what, what is this, man? I can already see your troubles. You feel a dark cloud hangs over you, yes? Like the fates are against you? Yes, exactly! It's like no matter how hard I try to get a job, keep a boyfriend, improve my health, like nothing works for me. I have to be cursed. Stare into the crystal ball. Yes, I see you're right. There is darkness around you. It has been keeping you from achieving your goals. I you know, guys, like, let me stop right here real quick. When did, what this fortune teller is saying right now, this darkness that resides around you, I think that's, um, factual right i think it's factual nowadays if y'all do not realize like the sensation of doom and gloom like that might reside over you from time to time you're going to go through some shit in life all right if you do not know how to identify that feeling and that sensation so make sure y'all get in tune with your feelings because listen the, the in intuition the soul will not lie to you. The intuition comes from the soul. Your actual true core being. Which I feel in some kind of sense is separated from your original conscience. Or whatever you believe that your conscience is. The byproduct of living life in this world that we see as, as we see it. Um, there's going to be a byproduct effect that causes your conscience to separate from its actual true self. It's just, I think that's just a part of life. Now, for you to get yourself back in, on, in alignment with your actual soul's true purpose, that's where you have to listen. But listening takes a form of fighting off the distractions that this world brings upon us, okay? You have to learn to distinguish that, otherwise you're going to be straight like this one right here. You know, look, it's saying somebody's somebody said I know it. I feel like it's you know the woman who the story is about that's dealing with it. But get in tune with y'all feelings, y'all. Make sure y'all stay away from any external substances or alcohol that might change your mentality, your state of mind. All right, because knowing how your natural body and your spirit, your soul, everything that you're about interacts with. That's important. It's very important. I don't know if I said that right, but I think the people who need to understand it will understand it the way I said it. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's continue. Knew it. A simple cleansing will rid you of it. Close your eyes. It's not how you close your eyes. What the hell? What the hell is all that? 
This will remove any blocks from your path. <coughs> Now, you will be able to achieve anything you want. But you must be persistent to break the spell. It's a stubborn one. Someone put a spell on me? Perhaps. But more often, it is we who do it to ourselves. Oh, ho, 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 ho. She just hit it right there on the head. Do you realize that you put spells on yourselves? Like, really? Like, most of us go through our lives not knowing that y'all putting spells on yourselves just by doubting a certain situation from happening the way that you want it to happen. That's really the biggest part. I'm thinking about other ways and how you can cause spells to be on yourselves. But if you really think about it, yeah, if you ever put yourself down in any kind of situation, you're casting a spell upon yourself because mentality, mindset, thought, talk is um, something that people need to pay more attention to, right? And um, don't ever put any bad juju on yourself, okay? All right, just like this woman is doing... We see it all the damn time. We see it all the damn time. Like, I will never be able to get this position. I will never be able to get with that woman. I will never be able to get with that man or what, whatnot. Whatever the case. Like, change that. Things will change for you. I'm not even gonna say might. They will change for you, alright? Maybe it might change your mindset into being like, Maybe I could do better than this person who I'm interested in in what kind of way Accept things as they come all right because you need to not always be focused on the future You definitely don't always need to be focused on the past. You need to be focused on the present The present state of mind day time that you're aware of you know so Leave it at that. Let's continue I can feel it dissipating. I have done all I can do. The rest is up to you. Full results may take some time. So whatever it is you are trying to do, don't stop until it is yours and the spell will truly be broken. Thank you so much. Damn, this chick is so gullible. Wait. You gotta pay me. It's a hundred for the cleansing. Uh, you oh, pay me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no worries. I'll be right back. <laughs> Damn, you got a choice, a chance to leave without paying the woman? Like, bro, Jenny! Leave. Sorry. I had a work call. How was it? Amazing. I was right. There was something holding me back. But now, I can achieve anything I want. No more bad luck. Mm. Wow, that's great. So can we get out of here now? Because this place is really freaking me out. Uh, hold on. Sorry, but can I borrow a hundred bucks? Oh my God. You see what I'm saying here? Like, man, obviously after that interaction with this fortune teller, things are still not going well. Apparently after she cleansed this woman. Like, bro, like, don't be, don't get scammed like this. How is another person gonna just tell you certain things and then automatically fix your life? Like, no, you, in order to fix your life, you need to make the changes. Like, what the fuck? How do y'all not know that? Like, I don't know. Let them know, tell them we are not the same. I'm the one, I'm the one that got the flames. When my team, as you know, we come to slay. Let them know that we didn't come to play. Nah, nah, we came to win. I'm ready for anything that they can bring. Bring it on, let me do my thing. I'm a giant, they can move the king. If you never risk it, then you never know. If it's only you, back, you gotta let it go. You gotta give it all you got, you gotta let it go. Ruthless, ruthless, ruthless. Okay. 
God damn, my okay. What the hell is he doing? Like, is she offering her food to him on during the day? I mean, that's all cool and dandy and stuff, you know. Of course, I think I would like to try each other's food if I get something different. But like, I have a feeling like she shouldn't like mess with this man. Am I wrong? I feel like I don't know. I'm just, never mind. I'm just continuing. We have so much fun together. He's so thoughtful. Oh, and I think I got a promotion. My boss keeps saying what a good job I've been doing and how hard I've been working. I am so happy for you, Jen. I'm so proud of all the effort you're putting in. That fortune teller really did her job. No more dark cloud. <sighs> yeah. Shit, me. The fortune teller. What? Even after everything that's happened, you're still not convinced? Absolutely not. Jen, the only black cloud you had over you was your own lack of it's effort. Your own lack of no effort. No 99 cent sage is going to turn your life around. Certainly not without really putting dollar. in the work like you have she had to pay for this. I don't get it. Who told you it was cheap sage? It was $100. Yes. I'm the one that bought it. Hey, you see, when I saw you at the restaurant, so convinced that a fortune cookie could change your life, that's when I got the thought. Oh, before she even gets to explaining what she explained, what she's trying to explain, like, bro, placebo effect. How effective is that nowadays, right? Like, yo, this friend of this woman has saw a cue in the, you know, her friend, and it was like, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do this. And, um, see how she would go about it. And it obviously changed her life for the better. Like, she's got a, got the man that she wanted. She's got the position that she's, I don't know if she's got the position yet, but everything seems to be going in the way that she wants it to. And her friend peeped this, so her, her friend, did her friend, was her friend the fortune teller? Cause we obviously didn't get to see that lady's face. Very interesting. Let's carry on. Almost a couple more minutes left. Yeah. That I would pretend to be a fortune teller. That's all totally he was. Burn a little sage and act like the dark cloud is gone. The biggest challenge was making it back to you in time so you didn't suspect anything. So you see, you're welcome. Here is the hundred dollar refund from the fortune teller paid back to me. <laughs> that was you? There's no way, but the business card. Nothing a little Photoshop couldn't fix. Damn, this See? girl's good with Here Photoshop. Here is the too. original with the real address. 
And then here is the one I photoshopped with Damn, the new address. son. That shit looks the same. I'm friends with the building owner, and he let me use the space to pull this off. That's what's up. Why would you do that? To get your ass back on track. To what I've been trying to say all along. That destiny is not a matter of chance. It's a matter, it's a matter of, of, choice. of choice. I was going to say effort. It's going to change on its own. I have to work hard for it to change. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I get it now. It's my doctor. He, he said I no longer have to come in for regular checkups. Lucky you. No hardworking me. Hey, Jenny! Oh, God, I just ruined my white shoes. You don't have the worst luck. Are you gonna tell him, or should I? <laughs> okay, okay, all right. I was gonna say, yo, that's a weird way to end this one, like, bro. What, did the bad luck go to him instead? Like, did it transition from her to him? Or what? Because we all know, like, energy doesn't dissipate. It transitions or moves on, right? So, it's a, that's, that's, this is a weird way how to end this video. For sure. Um, um, but <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate y'all for watching. So this, was, this has been a very interesting one. Darman, again, I can't express, like, how much I like his videos. I tried to express it in the video that I tried to do before this one, but it did not work out. So on this one, we're calling it quits here. Appreciate y'all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And the link, original link to the video will be in the description if y'all wanna watch it on your own time or see some of his other things. But yeah, um, energy doesn't dissipate. So it's up for you to transition or transmute that energy into something better, okay? And if you can't do that, then maybe you should delve in that energy for a certain amount of time. Make sure your thoughts are aligned with that energy. And if they are not, like if they're in their thoughts or feelings that might subject you to even turn it worse, then it's kind of a critical moment where you need to do that mind work, that shadow work, okay? So, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank y'all for watching again. I will catch y'all next time. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll be back. We'll be back. Don't be later.